All right, the next song I want to talk about is Ego Trippin'. This is actually from uh, 1985, uh, an early, um, you know, an early ultramagnetic, um, you know, uh, song. It did, you know, obviously make the make the album eventually. Um, but this is this is a crazy important joint. All right, um, this was produced by Said G, again, who I spoke about. Um, you know. And he produced a lot of the songs on this along with Paul C. And the thing that um, is notable on this record, number one, it's like a classic. It's like a hip hop classic about, you know, people um, ego tripping, essentially, you know, like so high on themselves, they're bugging out, but they're really not that, that dope, you know. And why this this is this is super important is because of of this this sample right here, uh, this drum break synthetic substitution by Melvin Bliss. Now, why is this notable? Um, the song from 1973 actually features the drumming of the um, you know one of the funkiest, dopest drummers of all time, Bernard Pretty Purdy. Um, you know, the funky donkey, whatever you want to call him. Bernard is still around. He's still kicking. He's still playing drums. Um, and this became like one of those uh, iconic drum breaks from that era, you know, on par with, you know, Impeach the President and Funky Drummer. It's like one of the, you know, holy grail of hip hop um, you know, sample records or drum breaks that have been used a lot for obvious reason. It's got the crazy dope drums. Um, and yeah, I just want you to get a little bit of flavor of, of the song Ego Trippin' and just hear this drum break, um, which is just an incredible, important drum break to the history of, of hip hop. Very notable. 